Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Conspiracy Case 49, Dear the Departure. Let's unlock Chapter 3, and we have a bunch of A grave about to be passengers, so if that duty something ain't right. We have places to board and places to go. What is this going to end? Everybody settle down. We are trying to solve a murder here. Well, I paid a fortune for my vacation, and I'm not going to spend it in an airport. Would you rather spend it in jail after being arrested for interfering with a police investigation? Interfering? Arrested? You can't do that. Yes, we can. Now, disperse or get ready to call your lawyers. Just go. Pew. I thought they'd never leave. We better have another look at the crime scene quickly, though. We have to wrap this investigation up. Yeah, plane tickets are expensive, especially here in Croatia. I never traveled with a plane, so I don't know how it feels like to travel with a plane. It was all just with cars and buses. But I think it's a bit... I think it's safer than planes, so... And more fun. Hey, Katrina, I recognize that vest. The way was wearing it on that cardboard countdown we found. But it's been damaged. Who did that? Maybe collect some of the powder or it will tell us who was so angry at the victim. Do you think if I find something in those snacks? What to dig through, you're right. And that security camera might give us the decisive clue we need. Let's unlock it's that. Okay. Oh, I didn't come with a picture of the chapter, it's that. It's that animal thing from... Of that... Of that crazy woman. <laughs> All right, let's first pick something up from from this tour fabric. It got some of the powder from the victim's vest. Let's have a look at it under the microscope. Sure, let's do it. Okay, now let's look through the stacks. Dolores and it's written on an aluminium fish. What's that supposed to be? We found an aluminium fish in the snacks. It has a victim's name on it. Wait a second, we know someone who curses people with fish. Tell me what G could curse the victim with one back in Old Town. Oh, I forgot about that. We better go have a chat with Miss Vajiku and ask her why she cursed Dolores Zamora. Yeah, why did she deserve to be cursed? Four. All right, let's now unlock the camera. Okay, it's unlocked. I actually got the security camera unlocked. We should send it to Katy. I hope she finds something useful. Okay, we'll see what she's gonna find. All right, now let's let's analyze this powder. Yeah. 
You know, that fight asks a lot of food. Ah, it's for those animals. Katria, the part of the vest was dried, eat earthworms, trout, and tadpoles. And axolots eat that? Yuck. Well, there's only one person with an axolotl at this airport. I made him alone. Let's ask her why she ruined the victim's vest. Yeah, what was that about? Okay, let's first have a chat with Tabo. What? For what uh, did the victim deserve to be cursed? Miss Fajiku, it's time to come clean. You cursed Dolores and bought away one of your fish. Why did I think I could hide that from you, is better, Katrina? Listen, that's the border world was horrible to me. Complaining that I was slow, that the coffee tasted awful. Whenever she stopped at the bar, it was only to berate me. I was so stressed I went through all my stock of saved by flowers that week. Thank goodness my water was here today. He said I could have his bottle. Hey, I didn't take that thing, sure. How did you respond to Miss Amora's treatment of you? I tried to connect with her, telling her we basically did the same job. Hers in the air, mine on the ground. Miss Amora didn't take kindly to that. Her condensation only got worse, so I took a can for the recycling and made that cursed fish, Mazuda style. But I didn't want her to die, and now you're just going to unfairly accuse me again. We won't accuse you of anything you didn't do, Miss Fujiku. The evidence will decide. Oh, it could be the mayor. Okay, what about you? Miss Ballon, why did you destroy Dolores Amoris' vest? You let your ass lulls food all over it, so we know it was you. Oh my gosh! You know it? You know everything? I better come clean now. I was supposed to be on a flight leaving yesterday evening, but that Dolores Amora called security and have it forced to be removed from it. Oh, why is that? What? Why? Were you causing trouble? No, I was just quite a look at your cloud ball when she stormed up to me. She said Fred didn't qualify as a therapy animal and wasn't allowed on board. She told me to flush him down the toilet or leave. I said I would never harm Fred. He has helped me through some really hard times. Fred and I had to spend a whole night in the airport waiting for another flight. All I had to eat or drink was saved by flowers. And then this morning I bathed the Mr. Bora again at the gate bar. And she smirked at me. And I saw red. I grabbed her vest and ripped it off her. So you assaulted the victim this morning at the gate bar? Let's hope you didn't do anything worse, Mr. Lord. Because Axel Wallace aren't allowed in prison either. Oh no, no. Oh my gosh. Just don't don't try any trouble. Or I'm going to find that out myself. Let's now see what did the security camera record. Katrina, the security camera you unlocked caused some interesting activity near the crime scene. Have a look. Okay, what is it? Dolores, great job on the flight today. Atta girl. Hey, take your hands off my... Did you just smack my bottom? How dare you! Oh, yeah, this is classic when you slap, uh, slap a woman's butt. You get slapped as well. Oh. Wow, did you see that, Katrina? Captain Refro just groped Miss Abora with no shame. Good on her for standing up for herself. Yeah, but she did slap her boss. What if he reta retaliated? That's a fair point. Let's go confront Captain Redfern, Katrina. You are flirting with our victim. Captain Redfern, we come across footage of an interaction you had with the victim recently. She slapped you. 
Oh, that. I only patted the lowest bound to be supportive. You know, like guys on a sports team. She misinterpreted the whole thing and went ballistic. For hysterica. It's not like I smacked her with my copy of Cloud Wall. You were still very disrespectful to one of your sub subordinates, Captain Redfern. Officer Joes, you obviously have no idea how to pressure some pilot faces. I have the lives of hundreds of people in my hands. So I forgot my manners. Maybe I was too relaxed from all the saved by flowers I had to take I had to take to keep my nerves on an even kneel kill. Wow. And maybe you decided to get back at her for the slap this morning by adding poison to her smoothie. We're watching you, Red Fern. So, there was a lot more to Dolores Amor than met the eye at first glance. Quite a few people may have decided to poison her. Tamil when Jacob cursed her after being treated unfairly by the victim, while Captain Redford got the slap of his life for his inappropriate behavior. But what I can't get over is how she told the him alone to flush her pet down the toilet. I mean, sure, it's an atypical animal, but... You're right, Katria, we need more in this if we are going to find the killer. Now you can't keep the airport on lockdown for much longer. Good call. Let's go back to the shuttle stop for a closer look. Yeah, let's find those last two clues. Okay, let's go. Be pest be gone? We need a better look at the label. I'll grab you the same kit. Eh, would you say that this crime novel is in Spanish? It's called La Pantera de Pistola. That seems Spanish y. There's a dog eared page. Let's look. Hey, you're right, that highlighted phrase matches the trap we found in the victim's hotel room. The girl quoted from this book. Luckily, I see some fibers stuck at the bottom of the page. We need to collect those. We'll have this killer caught in no time, Katrina. I can feel it. Yeah. Okay, let's first analyze this bottle. Well, let's dust it. Yep, that's what we need. The bottle's label reads, Pest be gone. That's the pesticide that Martin said was used to poison the victim. Let's get this bottle to her. Okay. Alright, now let's collect something from the page. Well, that was fast. <laughs> well done! You got a sample of those fibers from that Spanish novel. I'm your niece this right away. Okay. Let's first check out the poison bottle. Katria, the bottle of pest be gone and the poison of the victim's stomach were one and the same. So, we know the cure used this exact bottle to poison Dolores Amora. Were you able to get anything else from it? Well, on the outside of the bottle I found traces of a skincare product called Excess Baggage Serum. The Excess Baggage Serum helps light in the dark circles under people's eyes. I don't think it works very well though. 
The killer probably still has dark circles under, under their eyes. Hmm, they say that under eyes circles come from lack of sleep. The girl won't be rid of their skin problems anytime soon. Okay, I already noticed that on our suspect, so it's either the pilot or uh, the woman with the axle owl. Okay, now these fibers. Hey Katrina, the fibers you find in that crime now were polyester. Great, polyester could be anything. Don't lose hope so fast, Jones. I ran a sample against the fiber collections and found a match. This type of polyester is used to line neckties. The curious time must have shed a bit into the book they took the quote from. So the girl wears a necktie, yeah? Well, I don't think that accessory will work with a jumpsuit, do you, Katarina? With the prison jumpsuit? No, not so much. Katria, we have everything we need to put Dolores and Morris' killer behind bars. They can't get away now. Yeah, no. And I think I know who it's going to be. I think it's the pilot. <sighs> I'm gonna invest you some time, but not for now because you don't have under eye circles. You came so close. <laughs> So it was a pilot. I don't know what to say, I was expecting that woman with an axle owl to be the killer, but it's the pilot. Captain Shane Redfern, you're under arrest for the murder of Dolores Zamora. Murder? That's an exaggeration. I told you, I just patted Dolores' bum. Nothing more. We know that's not the truth. We found a smoothie glass that could say the poison you spiked her drink with. And you left traces of saved by flowers on it. This may come as a bit of a shock, but a teacher is widely used, especially in airports. Everyone is anxious. But we also found bits of the lining of your necktie in a Spanish crime now that was quoted in a threat to the victim. Explain that. Again, neckties are fairly common in airports. Princess Charlotte wear them. They would keep spares in their carry-on bags. Funny you measure bags, Captain. It just so happens that you also left under eye serum on the bottle of pesticide used to poison Miss Samora. You can't fly away from the evidence, Redford. Time to tell us the truth. You're right. There's no escape with the truth. I killed Dolores Zamora. On this morning's flight, Dolores warned me that if I ever touched her again, she'd tell that journalist guy about my naps. Oh. Your naps? You mean you would sleep while you were supposed to be flying a plane? Yes, it's the only time I could. Whenever I'm on the ground, I'm plagued by the most terrible insomnia. But up in the clouds, I can finally let go. But you had the lives of passengers in your hands. I know, and Dolores knew this too, and if she told the press, then the airline manager would know as well, and I'd be sacked. But I still needed this job, I blew all my money gambling in Vegas, but I still have two sons in college that I have to support. Dolores told me that she was meeting a journalist when we landed. I decided then and there to put a stop to it. I had ordered the pest be gone for a rouge problem at my house, but I had a more immediate pest to deal with, so I used it on Dolores. Well, pest control won't be a concern for you anymore, Captain Redfern. You'll have to make friends with the roaches in prison. You're under arrest. Captain Shane Redfern, you stand before this code for the murder of Dolores Zamora. It says here that you poisoned her smoothie with pest be gone. Dolores was going to get me fired, you honor. From the investigation report I read, I'd say you were well on your way to getting yourself fired. You were taking naps in the cockpit. With this in mind, for the poison of Dolores, I'm going to escort her by sentencing you to 25 years in prison. 
I will grant it for 25 years. I'll never fly again. That means I'll never sleep again. You still have a prison to sleep in, so... Well, Ktria, the lengths that some people will go to. That pilot really thought he could kill someone and just keep flying into the sunset. That makes you think of another person who can still sleep at night somehow. The mayor. He claims to know nothing about the Dastra and that the text message he received was just some random weirdo writing to him about killing Mia. I know he seems like a good guy, Katrina. The whole city adores him. But I trust that goody two shoes lack less and less. If only we could find some irrefutable proof of his involvement in something illegal. You're right, Katrina. Finding that proof has to be our next step. Let's go. Okay, so what we have so far is not gonna take him behind bars, so we gotta find something else. Alright, we gotta stop here. Wait, I didn't comment the I didn't comment the name to the stars. Well that mean that's that's the meaning of an Astra, so now it's going to be about chasing the last two of you. We have one who we unmasked, but we still had a fifth person to unmask who we don't know who he is. So, alright, we gotta stop here. We're gonna continue playing into the stars, number one. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!